Okay, so let's talk about templates. When you're dimensioning off of your body, something you really want to be aware of is how big is that part of me? And more importantly, how am I going to be able to move? So when you're trying to put a piece of armor on like this, you want to make sure that you have full, you know, flexion and extension of your wrist. You don't want your metal component to be cutting into your wrist component. So something to be aware of when you design is, can I do this? Can I bend over? Can I pick up something off the ground? Can I tie my shoe? Or worse, if you have a lot of armor, how am I gonna go to the bathroom? So these are all things that we consider in our armor class and something you wanna be very aware of when you're doing your templating. So when you look at your shoulder here, you're like, oh, okay, I've got this width here and this width here and this width here. And I wanna make sure that I cover, you can see the rivet line here, my entire shoulder. But what I also wanna make sure of is when I go to do this, I don't stab myself in the neck. And if I do stab myself in the neck, what am I gonna to wear to prevent that? So as we start to do our templates and our designs, there's this entire process of putting it on, taking it off, and making sure everything fits. So you wanna make sure, oh yeah, I've got this part of the arm wrapped and this buckle goes somewhere, which you can't see in the video, but we'll discuss that later. And you really wanna make sure that if you're stabbing yourself in the neck, do you really want this component there? Should it be rounder? Should it be smoother? What is an organic flow? that fits what you're trying to accomplish. And then how can you wear all of these pieces together? And if you're trying to design it for an ensemble, do you want everything to match, right? 